Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on indefinite integrals. We are looking into trigonometric functions now. Here are basic four formulas which are commonly used in integration of trigonometric functions. Sine, cosine, secant square x and cosecant square x formulas. You may need to remember the identities, the trigonometric identities. This is the Pythagorean identity. Then we have other trigonometric identities involving compound angles and double angles, triple angle formulas. Now these are very important to remember to solve questions based on integration. With that in mind, let us take four basic questions. The questions here are find integral of 1 over cos 2x plus 1 dx integral of 2 over 1 minus cos 2x dx and integral of tan square x and integral of cos x minus cos 2x over 1 minus cos x dx. Now when we are working with integrals of trigonometric functions, we might have to work on these given functions, simplify them and then we can find the integrals using the standard formulas which I shared with you. Cos 2x, let's talk about a and b. Cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 and also it is 1 minus 2 sine square x. So that helps us to simplify these expressions. So let's take up a first which is integral of 1 over cos 2x plus 1 dx. So we can write this as integral of, so cos 2x plus 1, if I take this 1 on this side, we get 2 cos square x. So in the denominator, I could write this as 2 cos square x dx. Do you see that? Now half can be taken outside and we're looking for integral of 1 over cos square x, which is secant square x, right? So so we have here secant square x dx. Now that is the standard formula. Integral of secant square x is tan x. So we get here half of tan x plus c, correct? So that is how you get your result. Now let's look into p, which is very similar. So I can actually, you can actually pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions, right? So now we'll find integral of 2 over 1 minus cos 2x dx. So when it is 1 minus cos 2x, then the denominator is 2 sine square x, correct? So we could write this as 2 over 2 sine square x dx, right? Now 2 and 2 cancel, so we have here now integral of 1 over sine is cosecant square x dx, correct? Now cosecant square x derivative integral is minus cotangent, right? So it is minus cot x and we get plus c. Do you see that? So that is how we can do the first two. Now let's look into part C and D. Find integral of tan square x. Now here we can use the Pythagorean identity. Tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1, right? So you know 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x. So tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1. So we'll replace this with secant square x minus 1 dx. Now secant square x formula is known to us. It is tan x. So we get tan x integral of minus 1 is minus x, right, plus c. So that is how that can be solved very easily, right? So, so I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Now let's take the last one, which is integral of cos x minus cos 2x divided by 1 minus cos x. Now in this case, we may have to, now cos 2x can be written as in terms of cos x, right? So we have uh, 
cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1. Correct? So we are going to use this formula. So we can write this as integral of cos x minus within brackets let's write 2 cos square x minus 1 over 1 minus cos x dx. So what we see here is that we have a quadratic equation here, right? So we can use this uh, quadratic equation to factor and then uh, we might cancel some terms. So we can rewrite this as integral of minus uh, okay, so we have 2 cos square x. Now this plus cos x, if I take inside, it becomes minus, right? So it becomes minus cos x. And we have minus 1 here, right? In the denominator, let's write also with negative sign, we will get cos x minus 1, correct? Now minus minus will cancel off. Now we have 2 minus 2 as the product, sum being minus 1. So we could write this as numerator as 2 cos square x minus 2 cos x plus cos x minus 1 over cos x minus 1 dx. Correct? So we wrote minus cos x as minus 2 cos x plus cos x. We cancel these negatives. Now, here we can take cos x common, rather 2 cos x common, right? So we have cos x minus 1, and here we already have cos x minus 1. Denominator is cos x minus 1 dx. And now, we can take cos x minus 1 as a common factor. Right? So let's do it on the right side. So we can write this as integral of cos x minus 1 times, we have 2 cos x plus 1 over cos x minus 1 dx, correct? So, so cos x minus 1 cancels and we have integral of 2 cos x plus 1 dx. So 2 cos x means 2 sin x, that is the integral, and for x it is x plus constant c, correct? So that becomes our answer. So that is how we are going to find integral of uh, these four. So I hope you understand that in trigonometry we may have to apply our trigonometric identities to simplify and then apply the rules. In the next video, we'll take a few more examples and then move on to the next topic. Thanks for your time and all the best.